Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at matching graphs to equations, equations that are written in uh, the slope-intercept form. What you can expect to see in this lesson is we will look at equations in this form, which is called the slope-intercept form, and we will practice, practice, practice. So here is a graph. This is a graph of a line. You can see that um, I have my x-axis, which is the horizontal line, my y-axis, which is my vertical line, and the line is that orange line with arrows on bo both sides. That is a graph or a picture of a line. Now, every line has an equation. This is the equation for this line. Now, the reason that we know we can match this equation to this line is because of two things. We are given in this equation the number in front of the x, which is a 2, and the number at the end, which is a 1. Those each mean something. The 2 represents the slope of that line, and the 1 represents the y-intercept, or the place where the line crosses the y-axis. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate slope from a graph, how to look at where the y-intercept is from a graph, and then how to connect a graph to an equation. So you'll be able to look at an equation, look at a graph, and be able to match which one um, is the graph for the equation. So let's start off. Here is an equation, or um, a graph, I'm sorry. Uh, we have our orange line. What is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is the easiest thing to point to um, to find. It is located where um, my y-axis crosses my line. So where does the vertical y-axis cross the line? See how it crosses right there? That's the point where my y-axis crosses my line. This is the y-intercept. Notice when we're given the equation, we're also told that point right there. That is the point negative 2. See, we start at our origin and we go down two places. That's how we would get to the point 0, negative 2. So our y-intercept is negative 2, or the place where the line crosses the y-axis. Here's a practice one for you. I want you to tell me what is the y-intercept of this green line. Where does this green line cross the y-axis? Pause the, the video, try it out. So the y-axis is up here, right? That is the vertical line going this way. My green line crosses it right here at the point 0, 1. So my y-intercept is equal to 1. Okay? Pretty straightforward. That's how you find the y-intercept. It's the place on the y-axis where the line crosses the y-axis. The next part that we need to find is the slope. Slope is always the rise over the run. Or in other words, the change up and down over the change side to side. So whenever I'm asked to calculate slope, what I like to do is to draw two points on the line. So I'm going to draw this point here and this point here. I pick two points that I can clearly see what they are. This is the point negative 4, positive 1, and the point negative 2, positive 2. All right? I can clearly see where they, they line up. I know what those coordinates are. Then I move from left to right. So I'm going to start at this point right here, and I'm going to say, how much do I have to move to get to the other point? So my movement up and down, I move from here up 1. Right? See that if I move up 1, now I'm lined up with the second point. That is my rise. 
If I go up, it's a positive number. If I go down, it's a negative number. So I'm going up 1. That means my rise is equal to 1. Then I move from there. And how far do I move to the right to get to the point? So I started here, and I went up 1 and over 2. That means my run is equal to 2. So if my slope is rise over run, that means my slope is 1 over 2, or 1 half. That's the slope of this line, a rise of 1 and a run of 2. Notice slope is consistent, so I would go up 1 over 2 to the next point as well. See that? up 1 over 2. I would always continually go up 1 over 2. Rise 1, run of 2. That's my slope. So now it's your turn. I want you to calculate the slope of this line. Remembering that slope is rise, or the change up and down, over run, the change side to side. Pause the video and try and slope. To try and pick a color that might show up a little bit better. Okay, my slope is always going to be rise over run. Rise over run. The rise is the change up and down. I start at this point right here, the gray point, and say how far do I move up or down to get lined up with the blue point. In this case, I went down 2, so it will be a negative 2. Then, how far do I move side to side to get to that point? Well, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my rise is negative 2. My run is 6. So I have a slope of negative 2 over 6. Now, slope is a fraction. So we can work with it just like we would simplify um, a regular fraction. So negative 2 over 6 reduces down. We divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. That's our common factor. And we get negative 1 over 3. That is our slope, negative 1 over 3. And you notice if you did go down 1 and over 3, you would have also hit a point right there. Down 1 over 3. Down 1 over 3. And going down 2 and over 6 is the same thing as going down 1 over 3. Down 1 more over 3. Okay? So slope is a consistent change over time. Now let's look at that same exact line and try and think back what is my y intercept? What's the y intercept of that line? Pause the video and try that one out. Hello, welcome back. That should be real quick. Y-intercept should be real fast. It's there, negative 1. The Y-intercept is the place where the line crosses the Y-axis. C would be the correct answer for that one. All right. Let's look at another line here. Um, this is a green line. I want you to calculate what is the slope of this green line. I haven't given you any points, um, and there it is. Is it negative one-third, positive one-third, negative one, or positive one? Pause the video, try that one out. All right, I'm going to think I'm going to go back to maybe a different color. See if I can change things up here, have a little bit better luck. There's one point there and one point here. There's another point over there. You'll notice this is very similar to the line we just had. We have a change going down. 1, so that would be negative 1, and that is my rise. My rise is negative 1, and then my run is positive 3. So I start at this point, and I would go down 1, that's my rise, and over 3, that is my run. If my slope is always rise over run, then it's going to be negative 1 over 3. That will be my slope, negative 1 over 3. Notice this line looks very similar to this line. 
right? It has the same slope, doesn't it? It just has a different y-intercept, right? It's just shifting the line upwards. Okay. So here's another one. I want you to calculate the slope of this line. Make sure to reduce it to lowest terms. Pause the video. Try that one out. All right. I'm going to try... A new color. We'll see if black shows up a little bit better. Um, so I'm starting at the left and moving to the right from my gray point to my blue point. How much do I move up or down? Well, I'm going from here down to my x axis. So I go down 3, negative 3. That is my rise. My rise, again, is a change up and down. It might be a, a drop sounds funny to call it a rise but there it is then after going down three I start at this line and I go this way how many one two three four five five is my run so if my rise is negative three and my run is 5, then my slope is rise over run. Negative 3 over 5. A would be the correct answer for that one. Were you able to get that for your rise over run? Okay, I hope so. Here's another one. Find the slope. Pause the video. Try and find the slope for that one. Hey, welcome back. Finding the slope. Finding the slope is uh, sometimes tough. It's made a little bit easier if um, if we always consistently follow the same pattern. So I am going to write rise over run over here on my left. I'm going to start at the gray point and I'm going to go from gray up until I'm lined up with blue. To do that, I went up one, two, three, four places. So my rise is equal to 4. From that point, I am now going to move this direction, which is my run. And I had to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I had a run of 6. So I had a rise of 4 and a run of 6. That gives me 4 over 6 as my slope. And I can reduce that to lowest terms. Let me just um, divide both of those by 2. That's my greatest common factor, which will help me to reduce it to lowest terms. That leaves me with 2 thirds. That is my slope. The rise over the run is 2 over 3. And again, you can see incremental steps. If I put in um, a point right there, you'd see that it goes up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3. Um, which is the same thing as going up 4 over 6. All right. Another one, finding the y-intercept. Pause the video. Try and find the y-intercept for this line. Y-intercept should be pretty quick. Let's use a colorful, colorful that one. Boom, right here. It's the point where the line crosses the y-axis. That one is negative 1. Y-intercept should be pretty quick finding the y-intercept. So, the slope-intercept form of a line, every single line has an equation. And the slope goes right there, and the y-intercept goes right there. Those are the two pieces of information. So what we are going to do now is we are going to look at an equation, and we are going to write the, or we're going to look at a graph, I'm sorry, and we're going to write the equation. That's what we're going to do. So, let's start off picking out a color that I know is going to show up. How about red? Why not? And we're going to calculate the slope. The slope is always rise over run. It will often be a fraction. That's okay. So, the diff distance from here until I'm lined up with there is that I went down 3. From here to here, I went over 2. So the rise over the run is negative 3 over 2. That's the number that I'm going to put right in here. And I'll switch it to being 
negative 3 over 2. The y-intercept is the place where the line crosses the y-axis. That's right here. The line crosses the y-axis at the point 1. My y-intercept is therefore 1. Let's go ahead and write that in. So I'm going to rewrite this equation just so it's a little bit more clear. y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 1. <clears throat> now, you leave improper fractions the way that they are, because then you can calculate the slope from them, negative 3 over 2. So you leave them exactly the way they are. So that's the equation for this line. Let's do another one. Calculate the slope and y-intercept for this line, and then try and write out the equation. Pause the recording or pause the video. Hi, welcome back. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this. My slope, that is how far I move up or down, and then how far I move side to side, right? That's my rise and my run. Slope is always rise over run or the change up and down over the change side to side. I went up 1 and over 1. That means my slope is 1 over 1. Let's write that here. 1 over 1. Or in other words, just 1. We just write that out. 1 divided by 1 is 1. 1x. My y-intercept is right here. That's the place where my line crosses the y-axis. That's the point 0. So my y-intercept is going to be equal to 0. This is a really interesting equation because if y equals 1x plus 0, I could also say 1x is the same thing as x. And 0, we don't add 0 on the end. If I say I'm you know, 36 years old, I wouldn't say I'm 36 plus 0. I would just say 36. So this is the line y equals x. We don't write in the plus 0 because it's plus 0. You're adding 0. It doesn't change the value of it. And we don't write in the 1 because it's 1 times x is the same thing as x. So this is an interesting, funny, and kind of unique equation. But it's a good practice equation for us to show that we truly understand these concepts. All right, last question. You're given a line. You're given some options of equations. Your job, pause the video and try to connect which one of these equations matches this graph. Go for it. Hey, welcome back. If you pause the video, then hopefully you were able to discover your y-intercept. That's the first thing I would look at. y-intercept is equal to 1. That means this number off the end has to be equal to 1. It is not equal to negative 1, it is not equal to 2, and it is not equal to 1 fourth. So just finding the y-intercept is enough for us to know that c is the correct answer. We are also going to find the slope because we're overachievers in this class, right? So we started our x value or our gray point right here and we went up 1 and then we went over 4. That means our rise is 1 and our run is 4. Slope is rise over run or in other words, 1 over 4. That is our slope right there. The correct slope is 1 fourth. The correct y-intercept is positive 1. C is the correct equation for this. All right, C is the correct equation to match this graph. So y is equal to the slope times x plus the y-intercept. Practice, practice, practice. You'll get better and better at it. Here are some other videos that you might find helpful. And I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.